Welcome back to Chaos Corner. It's me. It's me. It's the GOC. It's your old buddy, the guardian of chaos, Big Daddy. And I tell it like it is. I'll say that to say this. Coming to you live to tape. Fans, I wanted to go back to the main event from this week's AEW Dynamite for the finals to see who will go on to all out this weekend for the trios championship. Now in AEW Dynamite, the main event was unbelievable. So we're going to flash it back a couple of days here on Chaos Corner to see Aussie Open and Will Ospreay against the Jacksons. That's right, Matt and Nick Jackson and Kenny Omega. It was a match for the ages. You want 2022 pro wrestling? You want to see what's going on in today's world of pro wrestling? This six-man tag team match, a trios match, if you will, was off the chain, was off the hook for old school versus new school, and that's what it is today in AEW Dynamite. Now, follow me on all social media platforms. You know what they are. Here on YouTube, it's Guardian of Chaos. If you go to Twitter and follow me in real time, it's at Big Daddy GOC, and the GOC stands for the Guardian of Chaos. Now, if you hit that profile link, that'll knock you over here to YouTube. Of course, on Instagram, it's Guardian of Chaos. On Facebook, there's two accounts, J Brony and Protigio Fidelis El Guardian. Also, on Gitter, Gab, Rumble, Truth Social, I cover it all in the IWC, a one-man show, unscripted, unedited, no bells, no whistles, no paywall, no super chats, reality. What you see is what you get. Me to you to make it relatable. Nobody else does the live-to-tape concept, and nobody else can make it relatable to the fans like the GOC. So I'm going to say, don't you dare miss it. Sit back. Right now is the entrance of Kenny Omega, perhaps one of the best in the world right now. So let's see what happens. No copyrights. We're going to talk over it. We're going to give you our commentary, and I'm going to pick out certain matches to bring to you. So I just want to thank everyone for being here at all these social media platforms. Let's listen to the dapper yapper, my old buddy. Justin Roberts. Now, I've listened to all the conjecture. Uh, I've listened to JD and Jesse. Of course, JD, the number one fucking podcast uh, in the IWC on Off the Script. I listened to their opinions. I listened to my old buddy, the OG, Don Tony, on the Don Tony show, on Don O'Mite. To see what he had to say about the match. I listened to Tommy Dreamer, LaGreca, everybody on Busted Open Radio, everything that Meltzer and Alvarez and, and, and PWZ, the Pro Wrestle's own podcast, had to say about uh, this matchup. I'm going to give you my own thoughts. I covered it in real time on Twitter. Go back and check it out. But again, this match, everyone gave it four and five stars for what it is. And I'll have to agree with that. So I'm, I'm glad you guys are here. We're going to bring you this concept of going back and forth and covering just maybe the solo matches, the ones that stand out each week, a so-called maybe, if you will, a match of the week. So uh, sit back, relax. We're getting ready. I'm going to switch on and off. You see uh, the home guide behind from over 20 years ago, Captain Lou Albano, Burt Randolph, Sugar, a match made in heaven. And, of course, the GOC. Uh of course, none of this would be possible. Our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I just want to give a big shout out to everybody watching. Here we go. It's Osprey and Kenny Omega, perhaps two of the best in the world to start off right now. I'm going to switch it back and forth. I'm going to throw on the bifocals. Guys, you know what I got to do here at Chaos Corner. Let's get it done, baby. I'm a good looking guy, ain't I? Scared of rats off cheesecake. Here we go. Nice shoulder block. Nice kick up by Osprey. Osprey and Omega. Again, I don't like always, and I say it all the time, when everyone has to wear the shirts. I get it. It's the Spandex and Omega uh, exchanging back and forth with forearm blows, big chops. Uh, you got to love the sign in the front row there for Dynamite this past week. Uh, just enjoy wrestling. Can I say that too? What a way to start off here, this trios match between Omega and Osprey. Again, both guys well-known over in New Japan, obviously, all around the world. The Aussie Open definitely holds their own. Well, all six men are in the ring right now with the Jacksons, and I don't have to say anything about the Young Bucks. I've been calling them the Jackson brothers, the Jackson boys. It's the Young Bucks. 
one of the most innovative teams right now in pro wrestling over the last decade. Say what you want about them. Jim Cornette, I always have my notes, calls them the Hardly Boys, this, that. You can say what you want about these guys, but they are influential in what they're trying to do. That, that's for sure. Uh, the boy is here too. My main coon, Emilio, wants to get on camera. Beautiful Hurricane Rana lift up from Jackson to Jackson on Osprey. This was an unbelievable match. Both Jacksons, both Young Bucks. Topa Suicida over the side and being caught by Aussie Open. Smashing them together in between Kenny Omega. Again, fans, go back, I implore you. This is going to be tough to call. Now, Osprey up on a top rope. Back somersault. Corkscrew on top of Omega and the Jacksons. All elite, if you will. The Young Bucks. And there's Brandon Cutler uh, ringside with the spray and all that. This match is going to be hard to call, fans. I believe it went, this was the main event this past Wednesday. I think it went 12, 15 minutes. But the maneuvers to call them and the action, I, you know, I want you guys to be able to hear a little bit of it and, and hear my commentary and, and my breakdown. But we also don't want any copyrights here on YouTube. Yeah, the, um, the boys here. Come on up. Come on up, buddy. It's early in the morning. The sun is coming up. It's a beautiful day. Cheers. I got to get my wings here on Chaos Corner. Now, all six guys are outside of the ring. Osprey's got Nick's Jack, Nick, Nick Jackson. Uh, back body drop there in front of the all-out sign that's coming up this weekend. Now, fans, we have a big weekend. And here we go. At this point, picture-in-picture picture commercial. There were at least five or six breaks on AEW Dynamite this past weekend with picture-in-picture. Picture. So I'm just going to say that to say that. If you follow me in re real time, you know that I throw it out there. So... Here we are in the middle of a main event with two guys that are perhaps the best in the business and then a tag team that's one of the best in the business and Aussie Open has really held their own. And a main event, you couldn't have done this early? We got to get picture in picture now? Let me see the boys here, Emilio. He's like a raccoon and he's a big boy. Come on up, say hello to everybody. Still on picture in picture. Guys, thanks for being here. I'm going to bring some more content. I'm going to try to get some content. I've been slacking off a little bit on YouTube. So I want to get it out to you guys, and especially match of the week. I think we're going to start doing match of the week, match of the weekend, different things like that that we'll try to put out there for you guys. Come on, boy. Come say hello to everybody. Uh, the throwback, the retro kiss here on Chaos Corner. And uh, again, we're in the middle of the trios match. All elite, I guess. Omega and the Young Bucks against Will Ospreay and the... Aussie Open. Now, the winner here goes on to the finals at All Out this weekend for AEW. And this is what you have. You have a live rampage tonight because it is Friday morning. You have a live rampage tonight that's going to put out different matches for finalizing All Out. Tomorrow night, you have the WWE Castle over in Cardiff, Wales. The big Drew McIntyre, Roman Reigns for the ultimate heavyweight championship of the WWE, both titles. And then Sunday afternoon, which I haven't caught up a lot on, you have NXT TakeOver. And then, of course, Sunday night, AEW All Out. So let's think about it. Tonight, Rampage. Tomorrow night, WWE Pay-Per-View uh, from Cardiff with Reigns and McIntyre. It's going to be a big card. It's going to be a lot of great matches on that card tomorrow night for the WWE. And with Triple H coming back and Stephanie taking over... Uh, Things are trending the right way now that Vince and uh, some of the cronies are gone. And then Sunday afternoon, if it's your pleasure, your druthers, it'll be NXT. And then Sunday night, AEW All Out, a stacked card. We're still on picture in picture here for the main event. Trios match, Omega, the Young Bucks against the Aussie Open and Will Ospreay. What do they call them? The United Kingdom, something to that effect? I don't know what it is. I'm bringing you the information my over five decades of experience as a fan, a smart, a mark, that's right, I'll say it, and my over three decades as a pro wrestling manager, it doesn't get much better than that. The boy really wants his attention. He really wants his attention right now. He must want something to eat. You gonna come over on camera? We're back here live, finally, from picture in picture. Oh, I see open. I didn't think much of them when they first came into the AEW uh, uh, Dynamite picture. Uh, I didn't really do my homework. I went back and researched them, and now seeing their in-ring work, 
They really are an incredible tag team, and then including up with Osprey, it's been unbelievable. Right now, did you see the boy coming across the screen? Taking over right now, uh, the Aussie Open on um, Nick Jackson. Uh, Omega breaks up. Omega in the traditional black and white. Wearing the black sort of spandex type shirt. He's injured. He banged up. Not sure if he should have came back at this point. There's the boy. He wants to say hello. Hi, big guy. Double team. Aussie Open. Beautiful Hurricane Rana there. Tilt the world by Jackson. Over the top rope goes Aussie Open. Here comes Osprey. Misses with the clothesline. Wheelbarrow. Into a reverse Canadian destroyer front first face bump by Osprey on Jackson. Oh, I mean, you can't even call these maneuvers. You really can't. It's like a variation of different maneuvers. Jackson makes the tag. Here comes Omega. Over the top rope. Omega with the big chop on Aussie Open. This is what I notice about Omega and his style. The fluidity. The impact. I got to make sure the boy doesn't bite me. I mean, he's trained. I get it. But he still has that wild, veracity, viciousness in him. Omega off the far side. Beautiful leg drop over the top of the, over the top of Aussie Open into a, a leg drop. Unbelievable cover. Only a two count. The different maneuvers, as I said, to try to call these. To try to come up with your variation of their variation to call it really is unbelievable. And what I enjoy most out of and there it is that snapdragon suplex by Kenny Omega where he gets you in the full Nelson. Bang! Omega really is. A lot of people talk shit about him. Definitely one of the top grapplers in the world, in my opinion. And go again, look at Osprey hanging on here. The athleticism, the fluidity, the pacing of the match, the cardio, the way they hit the ropes, Omega. Look at these little things. Tommy Dreamer to that point. Oh, went for the stunner off the ropes. Omega captures Osprey. Beautiful. Oh, wait, goes for the Snapdragon. Over goes Osprey on his feet. Tilt the world. <laughs> Hurricane Rana. Osprey pointing to the far side like him and Omega do. Off the ropes. Osprey. Handstand over the top rope, and he misses Osprey. Uh, Omega catches him with that snap suplex again. And then right into the camera. Omega, this was an incredible bout, man. It really was. Yeah, I know, I'm all over the place. The camera put 10 pounds. I, I got the main coon over here. What do you want me to tell you? I'm, I'm on, I had coffee already, Red Bull. This was an incredible bout. Omega to the top rope. Aussie open in the ring. And they catch him with a, a savat kick off the top rope. Now, here's a double team. Aussie open again. I didn't know much about them. They are fantastic. Listen to the crowd. This was AEW Dynamite this past weekend. You're here live to tape. Chaos Corner. This will be up today as a premiere. And if you didn't watch this match, go back and critique it. And look. Look at the move from the middle rope by uh, Aussie Open on Kenny Omega where they had him up in the vertical suplex and held him up there for how long off the middle, off the top rope. Here's the cover. Nick Jackson. And now, which one is Nick? Which one is Matt? They both have the long hair. One's got it in the ponytail and black. The other one's a little lighter. What the fuck? That was an excellent move. Osprey just laying in the elbows on Kenny Omega right now. And we, we missed the entrances here because I didn't want to get any copyrights here on YouTube, guys. Uh, sit back, relax. We're 13 minutes in. We should be out of here in under 20 minutes. And now look, the Aussie Open. Uh, is, was that Osprey? Yeah, Osprey ripping his shirt off of Omega to reveal the taped up ribs. And now Osprey just punishing Omega. Fans, again, I know I've said it three or four times. I've repeated it already. Go back and check out this match. Any match that Osprey's in, I've been sold. Uh, Omega, it was a little harder of a sell. But let's face it, these guys for this day and age, two of the best in the world, perhaps two of the best in the world. Throwing Brian Danielson, uh, throwing a couple other guys that I can think of off the top of my head, uh, whether it be uh, uh, Zack Sabre Jr., people would say there's a, there's a whole bunch of other guys. Uh, some people would even throw in Roman Reigns, but I don't consider him much of a grappler more than he is a, a, a star. And again, if that made sense to you, if you know what I'm talking about, we're on the main event here from this past Wednesday's All Elite. It's a, a trios uh, finals here to see who goes for the trios championship this Sunday at All Out. Uh, it's the Young Bucks and Omega against uh, Omega uh, against the uh, Osprey and Aussie Open, and this is the second.
and picture in picture of the main event. Why do you have to do this in the main event? Somebody tell me why. I don't know if it's needed. The pacing of the match, you don't do it with these stars. Put it in earlier so you don't have to do this. I, I just don't understand bloated payroll, higher roster. I get it. You got to make the money, pay the bills. I hate using that saying, but I guess it's the truth. You lose out here on the picture in picture when you go to it. And you got to look in a little square. And I got a 65-inch flat screen smart TV here uh, down in the lounge. And it's still tough to pick it up and, and, and see. And you're missing out on a lot on this. And I, I just disagree with it. It's one of the things I don't like about AEW is all the picture and pictures. And some people say, hey, Chaos, what are you complaining about? What do you have to complain about? At least you get to see some of it. You get this right? Put it up your ass. Let me get some wings here during the commercial. See the boys still here. Picture in picture, Chaos Corner, all elite wrestling. Big weekend coming up tonight, Rampage. SmackDown tonight as well, too. Listen, Raw now and SmackDown getting up to over 2 million for Mondays and Friday nights. AEW pop a little bit of a rating on the million. I don't want to get into the whole mock CM Punk thing. I'll be back for a review. I'll be reading off the cards. Uh, for the WWE pay-per-view, uh, for the AEW pay-per-view. I'll, I'll be back, fans, and we'll be doing some live-to-tape stuff, and I'll be putting it out there, and I'll be giving you all the different information for the guys here and the gals here on the channel. We're still taking a long time to grow. I don't know what the heck is going on out there. YouTube algorithm, hit the like, subscribe, tap the bell. I'm not quite sure. We're about 350 subscribers. It's been a slow build. You guys know that I moderate for other channels, whether it be Don Tony on the Don Tony Show or the Shy town Smark with uh, Heel Jesse from uh, Off the Script and from his own show, Shy town Smark. And of course, I'm always on uh, OTS, not as a moderator, but just getting my sources and information. And of course, the Wrestling Council guys. And, and of course, I'll say that to say this because I tell it like it is the PWZ podcast and the professor and my home all the time, every time. ParadiseAlleyProWrestling.com, Paradise Alley Pro Wrestling with the Paradise 4. That's where I do all my play-by-play -play and commentary. So, fans, stay here on the channel. We're finally back! <laughs> That's how I... I think I had a fur ball from the boy. Oh, Canadian Destroyer by Nick Jackson on Osprey! Off the top rope. Beautiful double-team maneuver by Jackson on, on the Aussie Open. And you hear Taz. It's Taz and JR and I believe Shivani or Excalibur uh, in the booth. Again, I don't agree with that. The four, five, six guys, but the maneuvers here. Double springboard over the top into DDTs from Jackson. Spinning with uh, DDT outside. Again, the matches. And, and to try to call this, it's damn near impossible. And again, we don't want too much volume. We just want to be able to uh, bring you the action. Jackson to the top rope. Nick Jackson, here he goes. Oh, the 450, and he misses it on Osprey, who brings the knees up. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to get back in shape. Everybody relax. I'm almost the old man brand. The over 50 demo gob coming up on the big, uh, you know, not too long ago. Oh, Osprey using the old Omega thing, and Omega didn't like it. What are we, James Bond? Face-to-face, -face, Omega and Osprey now. I want to see these two go one-on-one -on -one here in the United States. Forearms. Forearm shivers. Blow with the preposcus. Osprey getting the better of the two. And again, the sign in front there. Just enjoy wrestling. Will you please? Oh, beautiful maneuvers by Osprey. Misses with the uh, roundhouse. There's Omega. Look at the way he hits the ropes. Big clothesline. But, oh, reversal by Osprey. Picks him up into a pop sit out power bomb. <laughs> holy shit. As the crowd saying, holy shit. And I've already seen this once, twice. Wow. Here in September of 2022 already, we're up flying. Labor Day weekend. The moves on Nick Jackson. All three of the uh, Osprey and, and Aussie Open. In the ring. Now, both Jackson, super kick. It's hard to call this, fans. I hope you're staying with me. We're coming up on 20 minutes here on this uh, segment here in the main event from this past Wednesday's AEW Dynamite. 
It's Labor Day weekend. Everyone stay safe out there. Stay aware. Stay with your family and friends. Here's the cover. Jackson. No, broken up. It's Labor Day weekend. It's a pro wrestling weekend. NXT, WWE, AEW. Nick Jackson steps off the rope outside, flip outside the ring. And uh, are we going for the Meltzer driver? Meltzer, are you watching? Oh, it misses it. Osprey out of nowhere with a flying neck breaker. Reversal. Osprey to the top rope. They have Matt Jackson going for the spike top pile driver from the top rope. Oh, and he does a, a, a moon shooting moon star and gets it, hits a double team. Here's the pin. Wow. Go back and again, this is a combination of like a luchador style, the new 2022 style here in the States, whatever you want to call it, mixed with some Japanese pure style. This is unbelievable for the day. You got to evolve. You have to grow. And I can appreciate this. I've never really seen too much like this. They have Nick Jackson, Matt Jackson. And there we go. Omega out of nowhere in Osprey with that flying knee. Super kick by Matt Jackson. Double super kick by the Jacksons. Not Michael, not Tito, not Jermaine. The Young Bucks. Yeah, I'm glad you guys are here. This is my stress reliever, and I'm hoping bringing you a stress reliever in this current day and age. Triple super kick by All Elite. Omega and the Young Bucks. This is Elite for AEW. Now they were all in there. They go back now to make a tag. Now Nick Jackson tags Omega. Now it's Omega... And, and one of Aussie Open, I still don't even know both of those guys' names. That's bad on my part. Omega's setting up. Again, look at the way he hits the ropes. Bang them. Oh, big flying knee out of nowhere is Osprey. Jackson's with the double super kick. Missed. Osprey with a super kick of his own. Off the ropes. Oh, double beel toss. Into o the, uh, the Young Bucks into Omega. The double team melts a driver over head over heels. Here's the cover by Omega. No, 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 no. They said, no, they're not covering him. Matt and Nick Jackson moving Kenny Omega out of the way, and he's setting up one of Aussie Open with the old James Bond, I'll call it. Come on, up, up. This really has been a fun match to cover. I know I've been all over the place, but what do you expect with the trios match? Off the far side, there it is. The flying knee, but you can see the obvious knee slap. He didn't have to do that. Omega, you better. Up on his top rope. The one wing angel, sit out. There it is. Put it in the books. Two, three. Put it in the books. Come on. You knew they were going to the finals from the beginning of this trio championship. TK and everyone else in the media, the IWC, made it clear that they, he wasn't coming back until this trio. This was made for the Young Bucks and for Omega. And with Red Dragon and the issues with what's going on over there, that everyone thought it would be all elite against... Uh, you know, uh, Adam Cole, Bay Bay, and, and Red Dragon, but it's not working out that way. Uh, you know, what's going to happen by rights? Wardlow and FTR just thrown together. So now Brandon Cutlet, uh, Cutler, whatever, they're going through the highlights. Cutler's in there with the spray. He's really selling and working the gimmick with what he's given, right? They're showing the highlights and the, and the moves uh, from the Osprey and the Aussie Open and the Young Bucks and Omega. Moves that I couldn't call, that you can't call. It's tough to call. A one-man show, but an amazing match. You know, they're all in the ring. And that sets up for All Out this Sunday. Again, before I get out of here, we're coming up on almost 25 minutes. All Out is this weekend. It's Sunday night. Nobody has to work on Monday. Now, this sets up Omega and the Young Bucks. And now tonight on Rampage... On the other side of who the finals will be for All Out. So All Out is Sunday. Okay? You don't have to work on Monday because it's Labor Day. Sunday afternoon, if it's your gig, NXT. It's getting better by the week. Osprey disappointed. What a match. Friday night tonight, Rampage. And of course, tomorrow night, the big show in Cardiff, Wales, WWE. Fans, I'll be back. I'm going to be breaking up. Match of the week. Different things coming here. Retro reviews. AEW, WWE, Paradise Alley Pro Wrestling, and the GOC. Because you know what? That's me. I'll be back with more content. Spread the word. Let's get some subscribers so we can have some fun. 
Don't you dare miss it. Wait, 